apa-apa. Actually, uh, the the copies of the SDs here, it, it contains this year and last year. So, Come, please sit in front, media. Sila duduk di depan. Come, please sit in front. I was told by last year that <laughs> they say when you publish it, you must, you must, if you are visualizing it, you should blanko the IC number. Okay, this is told to us by Malaysia Kini. <laughs> I don't know, they say people can do some manipulation with I don't know, that's what they say, so, but up to you. Uh. Okay, uh. okay, any questions? So this is a, uh, apa yang, this is a, uh, satu ritual yang kita buat setiap tahun, <laughs> where we uh, declare the asset, and um, and this asset declare uh, will be also will be put up in our website lah, for those who wanted to view it. Okay, and um, okay, any questions? <laughs> the burning question. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we we stood in the last election in four seats, four places, and we and we plan not to increase or decrease this. <laughs> so we plan to stand stand in uh, four seats as well this this uh, coming election. Four seats. Or four? Four seats. Okay. Uh, one oh. parliamentarian, uh, Sungai Siput, one state, uh, sorry three state, Kota Damansara. Jelapang and uh, Semini. Semini. Semini and uh, Kota Damansara is in Selangor. Uh, Sungai Siput, uh, Jelapang is in Perak. Negotiation is going on. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing to announce here today, but <laughs> negotiation is ongoing lah. And uh, we are basically. Uh, asking uh, Pakatan to let PSM stand and I think they know that we have, we stood under their logo last time but this time because the party is registered and we got a logo and uh, we'll be using our logo unless there's a common uh, logo used by the opposition then we will follow the opposition logo See, uh, last last election uh, we insisted we had the best candidate and, and uh, DAP should give, give way lah. so what happened is history now that the DAP candidate jump jump board, so we are we are asked DAP to give the seat to us, and they are, they are negotiating on that because we feel that the uh, Jelapang seat and and uh, a survey made by people by some uh, even media in in Jelapang feels that PSM has the best chance to win the Jelapang seat because this is it has the best candidate lah. We don't want it to come to a three corner fight. But uh, and we think that uh, the, the best candidate should be allowed to fight one to one with, with BN, and we think we have the best candidate, and uh, we will negotiate uh, that it's not be three corner, but we will be standing in Chilapa. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so how are you going to win this time? I think the I think this this election will be decided how much the BN can cheat and get away with it. It is nothing to do with policies or issues because I think there is an overwhelming uh, support for change even in, in Semenye and that uh, the, the question is we have seen there is an increase of uh, voters something like 28% in Semenye which is, which is considered abnormal. In, in Kota Damansara there is a 30% increase of voter which is also considered abnormal. 35 percent, one of the highest <laughs> in the country, and uh, so normally it's about five to ten percent. Yeah. So this is abnormal increase in voters in these areas, 
and we think uh, some something is happening which will which can determine who wins the election but i think end of the day is that uh, that's why the i think psm fully endorsed the bersay 28 april rally and that the, to call for people to go out there to state that we want clean and fair election and if the bn wins by cheating i think we're not going to keep quiet you know uh, Yep. <laughs> our our position has been that uh, we will use our own logo unless there's a common logo lah. because if if uh, DAP, PKR and PAS going to use their own logo and and since it took us 11 years to get registered <laughs> and one year to fight for our own logo and uh, it's also that we if we if we don't use our own logo Tentatively, I mean, what it means is that we have to resign from PSM and become a member of another party, which is not allowed. You can be only be a member of one political party. So it doesn't make, make sense, you know? And uh, so based, based on that, I think that... Uh, I think P, uh, Pakatan will understand that because they were with us when we fought for one our party to be registered. Uh, DAP, PAS and Kadilan were supporting us, the PSM, to be registered. They were with us, you know? So I think they shouldn't have a problem in us using our own logo. Any other? Anything about our asset? Okay, actually the motorcycle does not belong to me. My, my motorbike got stolen. So this is a motorbike which belongs to my friend Simon. I wanted to put it in, you know, but then that would be not telling the truth. <laughs> See, since the implementation of the new Public Assembly Act, we have seen three assemblies have taken place without problem. Lah. One is the Anwar Ibrahim court case. One is the one at the Liners in Kuantan. And the third was the Women's Day Rally. And in these three incidents, huge number of people gathered. Police did not give problem. Everything was peaceful. So I think this is a clear indication to the police that they should stay away and allow the public to assemble peacefully. And if at all anything happens, you will be, blame it solely on the, on the authorities and the government if, if anything happens on 28th of April. So as far as we are concerned, we think that it should be, and, and Bersi have committed to sit in protest, you know, that is the, it's one of the most uh, peaceful uh, pub, uh, way of, uh, so it's a sit in protest. And I think, uh, they should be allowed to sit in in Dataran Mateka, which is a public place. And, uh, and I don't foresee any problem unless the, the government are un, unprepared to allow the public to assemble peacefully. Sorry, you have a of 10%? Sorry. Forty percent. Forty. Forty percent. Ah, uh, but actually, that if you if you actually check what our MP and the uh, Adun is giving is more than forty percent. The party requires them to give forty percent, but you know what they're giving? Like like you know, I think Kumar uh, pays to about another four full timers. Yeah, but four full timers. Nazir pays to you know how many three or uh, something full full timers. Other people. So it's basically. Uh, Distribution, redistribution <laughs> of the money which, which we get. But the party policy is 40%. Should be given to the party, to the, yeah.